Join us for the next chapter of the Green New Deal. No, oh, there is a better way. In transitioning to a clean economy. Sorry, AOC. As beautiful as you are, um, all fuel pumps at Ghetto Wrench will not be electric by 2024. It was a good run. So the Ghetto Wrench fuel pump was a great idea. If you remember my comparison video I did, the electric fuel pump was actually the slowest. Um, vacuum being second fastest and then gravity being the fastest. The thing that I don't like about the electric fuel pump are it's noisy and it could fail. And if it fails, you're screwed. And also, if your battery dies, you're done. I had the other night, I had a battery down one of the bikes with electric fuel pump. It wasn't riding. So it would really be nice if we could use that vacuum fuel pump. But the vacuum fuel pump sucks because it doesn't work at high RPMs and um, full throttle situations where you don't make any vacuum. The most place you need the darn fuel is where you can't get it. it only works good at idle. But wouldn't it be nice if we could do a gravity feed? Gravity feed would be the best of both worlds. Uh, wouldn't require any electricity. It would be reliable. It would be fast. I have this idea for using a tank. You can find these tanks all over eBay. They're catch cans for radiators. So they're pressurized. And I think this has to be pressurized for this idea. We need something that has an inlet up high. So it can hold fuel. And store it. And then we need something that has a drain towards the bottom so it can drain into the carburetor. I ended up going with this red one that matched the bike, looks kind of cool. I think I can fit it back here. So, uh, but the options are endless. You just have to have this tank higher than the carburetor. That's the only requirement, higher than that float bowl. Yeah, I got all sorts of fittings and hoses. So I should have everything I need to do this. So I got my tank. And I kind of like it. It's got all these little, uh, it's got ports everywhere, all these things. They're all the same size and they all move around so I can have fuel come in, come in high and exit low or exit on the bottom and do all sorts of things. And I should be able to get it airtight. I think it has to be airtight. Um, I'm pretty sure otherwise the pump will just pump gas and it'll flow out the top or flow out somewhere else. But yeah, the idea is we'll uh, pump fuel into this thing with the vacuum pump. We'll pump it in up high so it can't drain back into the tank. And uh, the level will be, you know, up here somewhere. And then we'll use this to let it gravity feed into the carburetor. So obviously if the bike's not running and the float bowl is full, the tank should stay at a high enough level. I don't know what's going to happen to the air in here, though. If we have to start out with this tank full, or if we ha can have an air gap in here, or if the... I don't know. The fittings have little um, O-rings on them, so uh, they should seal up tight. But I might go ahead and use some kind of um, thread locker or thread sealer. Also, just since I don't want gas to leak. Once I get the configuration I want and the hose routing I want. These barbs are huge, so I don't even know if I have any hose that size. And... Uh, they're not 1 8th NPT, they're some kind of great big thing. No telling what size that is, but that's probably not really something I can find at the store. Good lord. 11 and a half millimeters, 12 millimeters. I don't even know where I can find fuel hose that big. So if you look at the picture, the tank has this little like things that go in here, little tube that shows you the gas level. I guess it'd be okay to have. I uh, they use these to go in there. So this is that weird 14 millimeter size, whatever that is. And then um, this here goes in there. I thought that would be 1 8 NPT, but it's not. I would like to stick to 1 8 NPT, so I guess I'm going to use this gas tube. And on this side, where I put the um, little barb fittings, I just don't want to use fuel line that big. That's huge. So I think I'm going to cut these down, drill this hole out to one quarter, and then tap one eighth NPT, and then I can use um, you know whatever fitting size I want. Once you go to one eighth NPT, the options are endless. So uh, 
and I can do one of these fittings depending on what size fuel hose I have. And the aluminum tap's real easy. So I think I'm going to go with that plan. Yeah, here's a good example. This is, I think, um, what they call 5 sixteenths. Not too much stuff on a Mad Dog like that. This is 3 sixteenths. A lot of Mad Dog hoses that. And this is what came on the tank. And you can see the difference here. That's crazy. So, yeah, I don't want to get going to this big old fuel line. I forgot to cover how I mounted this thing. Um, picture's worth a thousand words. Little angle iron. That's actually aluminum. Um, I expect this to break and crack. I will probably replace this with steel, but I didn't have any steel that size, so uh, that'll be my template for it. But just an aluminum tab on each side and uh, bolted to the stock threaded insert for that top plate. Fuel coming out of the gas tank into the Makuni pump. From the Makuni pump, you see the one hose going to the vacuum. And then we have the other hose pumping fuel up into the fuel tank. It's pumping it in the top here. Filling the fuel tank as the fuel tank fills, the gravity feeds down into the carburetor. Pretty simple system. And we check our, uh, our level of gas right here. If we start seeing air in there, we've still got quite a bit of riding to do. We make it to a gas station, kind of like a little reserve indicator. And that'll give you another 0.5 liters of fuel. Mm -hmm. That's like five gallons on a uh, regular car. I want to get epic video of the fuel coming into the tank. I'm going to reverse these lines. I can't get my video to record this input. I'm going to reverse my line so I can see it coming that one. And uh, I'll record that. Stop that. Been sitting all night. Fuel's still full. I see no leaks. I don't think anything's leaking out. Looks like the everything's working. Tank's still full of gas. I think at this point I put this cap on, tighten it up so it's airtight, and never open it again. And uh now it's time to go for a ride. I want to burn some uh, gas. Actually, I want to burn through a whole tank of gas. And see how the refuel works, see if it works, see if I have any hiccups or problems. Bike died. We'll do like a top speed run. What? We'll do like a top speed run on this road. To see if it if it works good going fast. I think it went faster. Seventy one. Huh? Seventy one. Yeah, I think it was going faster than with the electric pump. Yeah, but so far. Yeah, that's pretty good. Still got gas in here. Now open your main tank up. It's 
pretty far down there, isn't it? Yep. Working good. So now we'll fill it up. Well, we didn't break down. So that's a pretty good mod. Gravity fuel tank. Now you can run Definitely with no. Feel this thing though getting heated. Yeah, we gotta. I gotta put the fan and stuff back on that. Yeah. But uh. Your video or whatever. Now you can run with no battery. Oh yeah.